Hey everyone, it's Ben here from Music Fusion, um, music leader at Music Fusion. Um, I hope everyone's safe and well and not going too mad being stuck indoors. Um, I know that we can't wait to uh, get back to do some face-to-face -face provision with everyone um, in Haven, but uh, until then we're doing um, a lot of online stuff as you might have seen, like uh, the um, remote recording and uh, and some other some other bits like that that, <clears throat> that Matt's been running, and uh, um, I'm going to do myself and Neil are going to do a couple of little videos about uh, making some kind of basic backing tracks for uh, um, for the rappers and whatnot. So um, I actually did one of these already. Uh, well, when I was making this, I did it from scratch, and um, the video got to like. The, the audio was a bit messed up for a start and and the video got to um about an hour and 40 minutes so i was like it's just too long it's taking too long so what, I've, what i'm just going to do today is just i've just kind of made the track um it's not completely finished to be honest with you but it's a, it's a kind of good level there's lots going on enough to kind of show you how to really get started and um what i'm gonna do is i'm just going to deconstruct it now from it being uh, finished yeah so from it being at this point that it's at now it just takes too long doing it from scratch i was kind of making up making up the music and everything as i went along um so yeah it just took too long like picking sounds and whatnot uh even though i wasn't really being that um choosy with what sounds i used as you might be able to hear uh for some of it um it still took ages so anyway I'm just going to kind of deconstruct it and what I'll do is I'll go through each track at a time and I'll just say something brief about it and then if anyone's got any questions and they want me to go into something a bit further or a bit deeper um, then I can do that in another video so it'd be good to have some feedback on these videos <clears throat> and let us know what you want to see if you've got Logic or GarageBand at home on a Mac that'd be brilliant because you can um, you can get involved if not just watch it uh, and just you know try and enjoy just seeing how these things are put together. So anyway, <clears throat> first off, we have got here our. Uh, I'll play the whole thing first. So, um, so this is Logic, which is just the, a lot of it is the same as GarageBand nowadays. Interface and everything, um, and this is the arrange window here, and. Uh, if you've never never used anything like this before, I'll just be I'll just really tell you some brief starting things about it. So this is the arrange window, and this thing that's moving around here is called the playhead. And then when I press play, um, press play it starts moving, and as it hits <clears throat> as, as it hits these blocks, that's the information I put in the musical information, right? To get the idea so um a couple of things i think about that that i could improve it straight off the back i did this a couple of days ago uh, it's good to leave things for a while and come back to them um i'm just going to move that across actually right so um let's let's take it down bit by bit and i'll show you in the order that i would make make this and explain as i'm going mm -hmm. 